We are at Castle in the Clouds today. We're gonna tour the old Lucknow mansion, do the basement tour that you have to pay extra for, and then we're gonna tour the grounds where they have their own private waterfalls. I've been told there's like eight, but there's definitely one that's really awesome. So come along with us. Buried in the spring of 1913, Olive was a well-educated young woman. She had studied Greek at Wellesley College and worked as a school teacher. Buildings and grounds, and is responsible for their restoration and preservation. Because Lucknow is such a unique and significant historic estate that we all wish to preserve for future generations, we ask that you observe the following. To its original, and our tour actually begins going. For a mansion, that's uh, quite the roof. <laughs> uh, multiple bathrooms? What? There's a shower over here. Oh, that's so crazy. Another toilet. Look at the two beds pushed together. Because they didn't have queen size mattresses back then. Look at the view from the second guest bedroom. That is Lake Winnipesaukee. We drove around it, could barely see it, but that is. Ooh. Quite the view to wake up to and start your day. Sitting on your little lounge. Right next door is her dressing room. And again with the incredible skylight thing. And a giant closet. This is the owner's bedroom for Tom and Olive and again the views from here are just so crazy really 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 impressive tiny little balcony we can't go out onto but man imagine waking up to this like that's wild the men have a much more reasonable size dressing room. But dear lord, that is a lot of closet space. All right, we have an explanation for this shower now. It's called a needle shower. Apparently, all these little holes spray you from every single direction all at once. That's crazy. What a bathroom. Uh, they have a nice little display of all the no like nonsense he had. Epsom salt, <laughs> laxative, gotta have laxative. Headache powders, interesting liver pills. That's so crazy. And they had all the linen stuff, because this is the servant's wing. All right, you got the servant's bathroom. Probably still would have been super luxurious back then. And then at least one of the servants' bedrooms. The maid. The maid's bedroom. Hmm. A little bed. 
I guess this is the servants' dining room. It says servants' hall. Oh, it's the kitchen. Oh, wow. Catch flies here at 1924. Wow. And they even have a fridge. Look how thick this door is. Like, that's crazy. These floors are. So back then, nobody had a fridge. <laughs> and that's sunshine. Actually, that artist, Alexander Poe, he was famous for doing still lifes, and then he started doing um, animal portraits later in life. What a fireplace. Flat screen TV. Look, a statue of Napoleon in his chair. I think this is how he died, right? What a nice spot to sit and read. Fireplace. Serious. Tons of books. Just a nice parlor. Where we were, Maggie. All the way on the other side. Looks like the front path connects to this nice little viewing area. I'm not gonna lie, that trolley road is <laughs> so sketchy. It's so skinny and narrow. But man, what a view. It's a good breeze up here too. What's all this? <laughs> What's all this? Oh, there's nothing blocking us off, so I guess we're allowed to be here. Well, you get a nice view all the way down, apparently. Look at that. Mm -hmm. To bed, the restaurant's closed. These old, old photos. Oh, hunting with dogs. The stables. I do love this, though. A little museum about his uh, shoe business, his war with the other shoe companies. <laughs> okay. Well, it would have been nice to eat here. What a view. Having the air inside provides natural protection from heat, moisture, and extreme cold. And for this reason, the home doesn't get too hot. Oh. Brand refrigeration system. So the heart of Lucknow's refrigeration site. The big green tank is the brand tank. And next to the brand tank is the compressor for the system. And on top of the compressor is the compressor's motor. It's a 35 horsepower motor made by the Wagner Electric Company out of St. Louis, Missouri. So instead of ice inside these refrigerators, there are orange pipes. These have been repainted, of course. So the bride solution flowed through the pipes and kept the space cold. There were wire shelves in there, but those shelves deteriorated with time. And if you're using salt water as your refrigerant, one of the problems that you'd eventually run into is corrosion. Yes. Look at the top pipe. Yep. You see that is a bit corroded. The ammonia filled the brine, oh, and then the brine flowed through the pipe along the wall from the space nice and cold. So interesting. With the flick of a switch, the cart would go either up into the kitchen or down below into the sub-basement. No hands required. This is primarily used to transport coal from the sub-basement down below to the kitchen up above for the stove. All right. So, when this house was built in 1914, the laundry room was new to the American home. 
well into the 1800s, laundry was done in the kitchen. Because for the longest time, that was the only place where you could work with hot water. But around the turn of the 20th century, homes were getting bigger, and appliances that we associate with laundry rooms were beginning to hit the market. And we're also looking for ways to live cleaner uh, by about 40 or 50 years at least. But believe it or not, central vacuum actually carries corporate ownership and remains 34 years of their existence. Do the artwork. We have some of the artwork that we're kind of having construction on this floor in the library. Assuming the first floor of the home, if you look at the graphic on the duct, and if you check out the crawl space by looking through the clear door, you will see some duct work heading into a terracotta wall. So follow the duct work until you see it going into the walls. And when you see that, know that you're looking at the walls of the pipe chamber where the 1800 pipes for the plants they own in our system are kept. About 11 and a half, starts down in the basement, moves up to the ceiling of the first floor of the hall. Read the room that the room had. So this section right here was devoted to the plant's 100 foot long glass greenhouse. So a greenhouse took up the entirety of this area. That's what this is. This is a giant greenhouse. It's attached to the rivets that you see on the sheet over here. And it's so peculiar. That doesn't seem to be much room for air getting in or out, but hey, at least the dog's out of zoo. We've got vague directions to go find this big waterfall trail. No idea where we're going. <laughs> All right, we found it. It's between the bathrooms and the ice cream stand that I'm totally going to eat at. Seven waterfalls on the map. boulders oh I missed the trails up here I love New Hampshire that's where we were and it just keeps flowing there's a big one down somewhere ahead about as close as we can get to this one. Too bad that tree is growing right in the way. Hey Nina. Yeah. What did the smart waterfall say to the dumb waterfall? I don't know. I'm wittier than you. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the less impressive ones. Bad angle and uh, it looks like the fence washed away. So slightly dangerous. We just missed the bear by like two minutes. If I wasn't going so slow, I probably could have gotten a photo. Oh well, next time. Oh yeah, we got a big one coming up. Oh, we're at the top of the waterfall. We gotta head down to that boardwalk down there. The remnants of some old stone stairs give way to this gigantic boardwalk. Now, we will not be finishing to the bottom here. It just goes out to a lower parking lot. We're gonna see this and then we gotta head all the way back up. But that's okay because it means we'll be finishing our hike at the ice cream stand. Oh my, yeah, that, that is a waterfall worth coming to see. That thing is humongous. Fall of Song, 50 feet height, and formerly known as Ossipee Fall. That's an awesome waterfall. The other ones are kind of small. That one is huge. 
that's more like what we typically go try to find. It's an easy hike down. Now I gotta hike up. Uh, starting the trip off right. <laughs> 